Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is John Guarino, dance executive and artistic director of violin and here at Caritas Violins. Uh, our guest, our distinguished guest tonight, again, to our great pleasure and satisfaction, is Eric Silberger. Um, uh, I'm sure that at least some of you are acquainted with his artistry, but we figured uh, to break the ice tonight, Eric and I would play a short piece uh, which we've read together for for fun on uh, a couple Earlier of occasions. Today. Yeah, just really, <laughs> was that today? It was today. Very early. Could be. That's that's very true. It was about three thirty today, mm -hmm. a.m. Uh, <laughs> so hopefully I'll remember the notes. Um, Eric, you, uh, you, you, I'm sure you all enjoy his beautiful violin playing. Um, so please give him a warm welcome. Sicilian Paradis. Um, it's a special piece to me because uh, I got to meet the late Every Gitlis a few times, and towards the end of his life, he played this piece very often. So, hope you enjoy. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to hearing you all play for me uh, and just have a really good time. You know, this is all about just really enjoying making music. So just have fun today. <laughs> so first we're going to hear Isabel. Yes. Please give her a warm round of applause.
too. <laughs> so I, I'm going to do an experiment today, I, some stuff I've never tried before. Um, and I don't want us to talk at all. I'm going to actually, because we have a recording here, I'm going to play back a little bit of what you just started with. And then I want you to just listen, don't say anything, and then just play it again a second time. Not the entire way through, just like a little bit of it. Yeah. So we're going to just try an experiment. Release. It's about the, see that 
just help the sound come out a little faster.
don't don't try to because the violin's moving around. You have a moving target. Mm -hmm. Just try to keep that in one place for that one run. Mm -hmm. Dum 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 dum. Yeah. <laughs> a little 
little bit towards the B string. Mm -hmm. So you want to just keep the same, the same alignment. So it's just like the level of the, the, the elbow and just kind of keeping that control so the wrist and everything is aligned. Otherwise what ends up happening is, you know, it'll kind of move. So just try to keep that, try that one more time. Yeah. Yeah, okay, now. Yeah, that was better. You saw the, the third one though, it, it started going to the G string further. Okay, Let, uh, let's try that. Where do you like? <laughs> Dum, da, da, dum, dum. Let's go from there to the high end. It's a little bit closer to the bridge. The higher you go, the closer to the bridge to get the quality of the sound. Just try that note. Thank you. 
yourself and what you're playing. Sure. I'm Sean. I'm Sean Lee. I'm a professor student of Professor Sazatsky's. Um, I'm going to be playing the Prokofiev Second Concerto um, by myself.
new experiment today. You're the second person now. What we're going to do is, the request is you don't say anything, I don't say anything, and we're just gonna play it again, the recording of it, okay. and then you play it again a second time. Okay. Okay, great.
there it slows down a, just a tiny bit, which might be okay in some cases, but if the conductor can't follow you, can you just try that once in, uh, in time? From the beginning? From the beginning, yeah. And, and I want you to focus on the musicality of the rhythm. Don't think about the notes right now or the harmony. Just think of the rhythm. Like, if you're a drummer, like, would the, where would the beats be? Would they be heavier, lighter? And how would you make them musical? Okay, just listen for that once, just as an experiment. for what comes in for the rest of the piece. 
So really just try to imagine that color. Okay, one more time. <laughs> Very, very 
very strange, right? Yeah. But do you really need to? Because it feels. Uh, you tell me. Because it feels to me that like you might be gripping it a little bit. What? What? How does it feel to you, though? If it's relaxed, then let me know. That's fine. I think I often felt tense when good, I. Good. Good. Yeah. 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 Just the, the first finger for some reason you're not vibrating on when you're getting down to the uh, the last note of the slur. So I'm just trying to figure out what it might be. Um, okay. Can you just over vibrate that just once as an experiment? Just this. Um, just like that repeatedly. Yeah, but keep, try to link the vibrato. Try to link the vibrato between the pinky and the first finger. Because otherwise it's. See, the, the vibrato has to kind of relate between the fingers on each note, and then that allows you to have a certain kind of flexibility in the color of the phrase. Okay, feel, feel the weight in the elbow. Yeah. Okay, now can you play from the back? Feel like you're playing from you know, back there. But I think you need to start from a little bit more. 
more, and then keep it going a little bit longer. Okay. So the diminuendo maybe just go a little bit towards closer to the end. Okay. <laughs>
it's, it's great to have advice, um, but just also really, just listen really critically of yourself, and then when you hear your teacher's advice, you know, you'll get a lot more out of that too, I think. Okay. So, yeah, beautiful playing, thanks. Thank you.
no words. Mm -hmm. Let's play it a second time, okay? So here we go.
the small notes as much as possible. Okay. I think what happens sometimes is certain notes will be not vibrated. Um, they're also with the bow. Sometimes you do faster bow speed and slower bow speed. So just really listen, listen closely for that. Um, this time, just focus on the vibrato. Just try to keep that going through all these things. Okay. Try to keep that same 
Ukraine and the Thank you. 
I want you to play, play right here. Okay? You can see her from here. Play, play from here for her, okay? This is a very intimate. We're trying different kinds of atmospheres. Okay. Peter Sosowski, and I will be playing the first movement of Isai's Sonata No. 5. Thank you. 
try this opening without me saying anything. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll do it. Okay. Uh, this is going to be just a playback of it one more time. Let's see if I can find
Okay, let's, let's just, I'm, I'm going to make up something for now. You, you have to come up with what feels personal to you. But let's say that this is da, da, da. You're seeing all the clouds in the sky, the fog, the morning, morning fog. And all of a sudden, you look up and all of a sudden, oh, there's a sunlight. Da, da, da. Like you're seeing the ray of sunshine. Da, da. Oh, oh, it just went away. There's a cloud. Da, da, da. Da, oh, there's a big sun, sun, like sun ray coming through. <laughs> Oh, but it's not there anymore. You know, I mean, yeah. so you can make a story out of it, but just try that one, just for this right now. Try to identify like 
dynamically, but also color-wise. Because it's, it's one thing to be, you know, and also, one might project better or be louder, but one sounds really and, and I think that that's, that's an important thing about dynamic. It's not just how loud it is, but what kind of color in that dynamic are you creating. So, uh, can we do it from... Okay, what would happen if this was like some kind of folk music? Just, just try it once.
you have a little bit of space to grow. Thank you. Thank you.